Welcome back to the Thursday evening Cowboy Fashion Report. This evening I've got on another exciting pearl snap shirt. No pearl snaps. This has a Bulgarian blue indigo base with some cat's eye undertones and deep clabber accents. Now I thought we would discuss a little bit the relationship between how you hang your rope on your saddle, the horn knots you might or might not have in that rope, and your Western Ensemble that you might be wearing that day that you're out with the crew. Branding Kev, Weaning, Doctoring, whatever you're doing. Now, this is my saddle here, and I've got a gold poly on here right now. And this is the type of horn knot is my favorite. It's easy to put on, easy to get your rope on and off. It's a, it's a three-strand round braid. And I've always hung my rope where it's ready to rock and roll. Now, my horn knot is right here in front of my keeper, and my loop is smashed up there. But in a moment's notice, you can have it on that saddle horn. It's right there handy get tight you've already got your loop halfway built you go once around your hand you've got a rope and you're going to stock right here is where i'm going to hold it it's right there handy that's how i like mine now this type of horn knot and setup will go with almost any pearl snap shirt ensemble now the only thing this kind of clashes with is maybe some pastel plaids but other than that this is a universal type of horn knot and carry style now, here's your ranch rodeo style of, of carry with a with a handmade metal horn knot. Got some silver bling on it there. My good my good buddy and cousin Wacey Henderson built that. He's pretty handy out there in Crowell, Texas. And, uh, you know, they've got theirs kind of some loose dropping coils, but pretty even, pretty classy looking. And it's also ready to rock and roll. You got your burner right there where it needs to be hanging. Got you a giant horn loop to make everyone in the stands know that you tie off so you got to have a big horn loop hanging off your saddle before you hook it on now i would recommend mainly solid colors for the ranch rodeo rig you know you know there's like 570 shades of white and 150 to 180 of them are all going to fit this type of carrying horn knot as well as your louder solids reds deep blues blacks with a little bit of chrome on them so now here we've got your West Texas braided into the end of the rope horn knot. Now I'm gonna tell you boys, if you're going to West Texas for the first time, you don't know anybody, you wanna make sure you get somebody to tie one of these for you if you don't know how to do it yourself. Now once you get out there and get established, you can go back to whatever horn knot you want or dally, doesn't matter. But when you get there, make sure everybody knows you know how to put the end of the rope West Texas tied horn knot. And here this type of carry is called I'll hang it on any son of a buck you've got on anything, anywhere. It just says, I don't care if the horse falls and I hang my leg in the rope. I'm ready to fire out and beat your ass to a loop. Uh, now this one is the, I wish I was a buckaroo, but I live in Oklahoma and I can't find anything longer than 45 foot. Um, normally, a buckaroo is going to have a leather strap here with a small buckle on it and have it wrapped around his rope seven to 12 times and then buckle solid. And his rope would be way longer than this. Possibly, this one's probably 45, I would say anywhere from 80 to 360 feet long with up to, you know, 700 coals wrapped right there. Maybe a little bit tighter than this. I have this one a little bit big, but from the pictures I've seen, I, one guy I heard of uh, way up there in Oregon or Idaho, he actually just carried 700 foot of fishing line coiled up in a little bit coal on his saddle there. So he had, had lots of rope up to shut up. This type of carry is the, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. If you see me take my rope down, you should probably ride the other direction. And I'm probably wearing some type of button up shirt or t-shirt. Now here's your typical Arizona carry over the horn. I've carried mine a lot like this in the past too. A lot of times you'll have even tighter coils. I was making fun of tight coils, but a lot of times you'll have even tighter coils than this for, for that little thick brush. And you're not gonna lose your rope right there tearing through it going after stock. You're gonna have your rope on your saddle when you come back right there. It can be dallied or tied off. I've noticed lots of good hands out there dally. Lots of good hands everywhere dally. I'm just making fun of them, but Lots of good hands dally. And this Arizona rig, I've seen them tied off and dally, carried just like that. And I've seen it up here in Oklahoma too. Now this type of carry is gonna go with, with almost 
anything except real thick pinstripes. You want to stay away from this type of, of carry practice with your thick pinstripe ensembles. Here's your, I am a team roper, but I'm also pretty good hand cowboy type stuff too. A lot of times you'll see this carry rig with your short sleeve pearl stamp search this time of year on into mid fall. Well, I hope that's going to help y'all out on your ensemble matches with your rope carries and horn knots. And uh, I'll catch y'all next week. Keep snapping.